In this video, I'm comparing three similarly priced earphones, but uh, um, they do not share much when it comes to sound signature. Uh, on another note, I would like to apologize uh, about the uh, DM480 cable. I have lost, uh, I have left the cable somewhere uh, inaccessible at this point of time. At this point of time, when I'm reviewing it, so I'm using an electroacoustic cable, but uh, um, this is just for uh, illustration purposes just to show it with a, a cable uh, I'll not be uh, reviewing this with this cable I'll, I'll not be talking about the sound properties with this cable because this cable makes uh, um, both other earphones uh, sound very uh, incompetitive uh, this electroacoustic cable is uh, $50 and uh, is one of the best cables uh, if you would like to go balanced uh, we'll talk about the cables later uh, let's start start with the earphones first uh, the most expensive one priced at $80 is the show z form 1.1 1 .1. um, it houses uh, one dynamic driver and uh, one ba driver uh, then the second most expensive is the dm480 priced at uh, just $70 uh, it houses uh, two dynamic drivers, one 8mm, one 10mm I would like to believe and uh, it, it implements a push-pull system uh, much like uh, Sony, uh, sorry, uh, Audio-Technica CKR series. Uh, the third one is uh, Urban Fun YBF ISS 014, a tricky name but uh, I have got accustomed to it. Uh, let's um, start with uh, uh, the aesthetic and uh, fit cable. Now, uh, the most comfortable earphone in this lot is the DM480. Uh, it, it, it has a semi-custom type uh, design and fits pretty well inside the ear. Uh, and the cable is just okay, but as far as fitting and everything, concern, uh, everything else is concerned, economic is concerned, I find the DM480 to be the best. Now, the second uh, is uh, Shozy Form 1.1 looks very dark in here doesn't it uh, let me decrease some aperture maybe uh, to bring some brightness here yeah um, it's a uh, uh, it's best thing about the the package is the cable it is one of the most premium cable in this price range for $80 you get a um, externally braided cable um, which will last you more than anything else uh, even aftermarket cables will not last as long as this one this one will take uh, yang's uh, occasional uh, stress and everything without any any problem at all now the third one is uh, uh, iss 014 uh, this is uh, not exactly very comfortable inside the ear uh, slightly takes time to get used to but the cable is very good um, I think I thought and I still still believe that this cable guide would have been uh, removed can be removed any any point of time but uh, they decided against it and they went with the cable guide which is slightly unnecessary because this is uh, this can always go with a cable down type because the uh, earpiece is not exactly uh, over the ear type earpiece it's uh, not semi custom or anything like that so i somewhere down the line believe that uh, that could have been done now moving on to the sound quality all these earphones are very good bass um, none of these earphone lack when it comes to bass none of these are flat or balanced um, not flat by a long long shot now the bassiest of the lot is uh, Shozy Form. The dynamic driver inside the Shozy Form 1.1 delivers thumping sub bass. So there is very good body with the mid bass and uh, the DK is slightly on the slower side. Uh, if you are looking for uh, plenty of details, um, you might be slightly slightly disappointed because it is slightly on the earlier side there is very much uh, plenty of uh, texture and uh, everything else but as the DK speed is slightly slower 
it's uh, a bit on the boomier side it still sounds very good but yeah there is a bit of boominess to it now moving on to the dm480 uh, the usp of dm480 is base is uh, uh, sub base there isn't uh, a lot of mid base but the sub base is very good it goes plenty deep into the spectrum there is a good amount of rumble and grunt the upper base is uh, fairly tamed uh, the dk sp dk speed is faster than the uh, shozi uh, 1.1 now moving on to the what should i call this and then there's a huge uh, confusion in here what should i call this here phone uh, ybf let's call it ybf ybf uh, uh, has a fairly rounded base so uh, there isn't uh, now i can say it middles the shozi and uh, dunu um, there is good amount of sub base slightly lacking with ex extension slightly the dynamic uh, diamond like carbon uh, diaphragms used in this earphone uh, doesn't really go as deep as uh, the other two uh, sub base is good uh, very good indeed but not as good as uh, the other two now we want the mid base uh, it's uh, fuller the dk speed is not slow uh, but slightly the dm480 is slightly faster uh, upper base is nicely controlled now moving on to the mid range all these earphones are v shaped there is uh, no doubts about that all these earphones are v shaped mids are slightly drowned uh, i'm using a, a copper cable on this and uh, the dm480 with this copper cable sounds uh, fairly more into the v but uh, uh, with the stock cable uh, balanced this one is balanced copper cable uh, with the stock cable uh, this one sounds slightly more forward with the mid range but uh, there isn't much forwardness with this uh, it is it is not balanced with the bass or treble but uh, it's okay nothing nothing exactly wrong with it there is plenty of details there is good amount of uh, uh, texture to vocals uh, vocal notes uh, the instruments have nice transparency um, the stage size is very good i find the stage size to be very very good to be precise instruments have uh, natural timber the uh, tonality is fairly natural now i find the ybf to be slightly on the uh, less natural side it's uh, the the timber is slightly off uh, it sounds slightly metallic uh, there is nothing wrong with it but um, when compared to the dm480 it sounds uh, a bit metallic now everything else is okay uh, the vocals are nice male female both vocals are nice with natural uh, timber to the instruments so, but as i said the tonality is slightly off now uh, micro details is a bit missing when compared to the dm480 which is a very very good earphone for um, uh, its asking price uh, uh, the ybf lacks a bit of micro details uh, you just uh, don't get that kind of uh, uh, details with this one now yeah uh, I, I forgot about the stage size the stage size is slightly smaller than the dm480 but uh, not not very incapable in any direction there is good width height and depth uh, but slightly slightly smaller i think uh, 10% smaller than the dm480 now moving on to the shozi um shozi is uh, is v shaped obviously but uh, the mid range is slightly more forward than the um dm480 the dm480 is uh, more v-shaped even though the base is not big the mid 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 range is uh, projected slightly less forward uh, even though this one has a uh, base uh, here uh, presentation the mids are more forward than the dm480 it has nice tonality but i somewhere felt that uh, the notes are slightly more thicker than they should be 
uh, everything else is very good the tonality uh, timber i find it uh, plenty good but uh, as i said the notes could have been slightly sharper the level of micro details is good through this uh, when it comes to stage size i find both these two earphones are very very good uh, but um, if i have to choose one i'll say dm480 because dm480 has a bit better sonic clarity it, it it places cues very well very well in the uh, stage and uh, uh, we'll talk about the flaw of the uh, form 1.1 next because uh, the problem with the shoji form 1.1 i felt uh being a triple liking person i like bass mids and everything i love my mid range but uh, there should be good amount of triple the shows the form 1.1 does not lack triple by any short of imagination but uh, i find it could have had better extension could have had better energy deeper into the uh, spectrum and uh, i felt that it could have done slightly better the stage triple stage is good there is acceptable amount of spark and everything but uh, uh, i felt it could have it could have easily done better uh, now moving on to the dm480 it does fantastically uh, there, there there is a reason why i love this earphone and that is because the way it presents the triple it's fantastic it has fantastic amount of energy deep into the spectrum with uh, very good amount of energy and uh, the the instruments the separation air between instruments spacing instrument placement is very good uh, yeah you cannot expect it to do as good as something like tsmr2 or bgvp bg4 but uh, this for a earphone under Hundred dollar is spectacular. The triple is fantastic, and the triple stage is complementing. Now moving on to the YBF, the same problem uh, as the Shozi. The triple is good, not bad. There is good amount of details. Uh, instruments are nice. Transparency is good, but it could have been better. Uh, it could have been deep into the spectrum with better energy, better sharpness, better bite. now these two don't lack this this two earphones don't lack with the triple but it could have been better i mean uh, the dm480 does better than these two earphones uh, now uh, if i have to choose between these two i'll i'll, I'll go with the shozi because it has a bit bigger stage size slightly better extension it feels slightly uh, more spacious now this is the, this is the cheapest one to be precise it looks good if you want uh, a cheaper earphone spending 60 dollars uh, you do not want to go with uh, uh, a bassy or tribly kind of signature this this is this has good amount of bass but it's not bassy like uh, form 1.1 or um, tribly like the dm480 uh, this has good amount of balance of everything it's not a balanced earphone uh, but uh, it does very good with everything doesn't excel with anything but it does very good with everything else now moving on to the shozi uh, if you are looking for bass um, if you want you like bass with your music this is fantastic it's it's very involving musical sounding uh the stage is very good the treble is inoffensive mid range is uh, smooth soothing it's it's very easy to fall in love with uh, um, the shozi form 1.1 if you like bass bass is not only but slightly slower with decay it lets you enjoy the music um, nicely now moving on to the dm480 uh if you if you like details if you like uh, the musicality and uh, the balance of things it's it's slightly drowned but man you you cannot ask for everything 
if you will sacrifice a bit of mids you get a lot of everything else the stage is fantastic good very good amount of details triple is very very good the base is sub base is fantastic the whole package is very good uh, i'll be comparing this uh, uh, with the stock cable too uh, electroacoustic and uh, a couple more cables uh, i think i'll be doing that i'm not sure well, let me see the response from you guys if i feel that you guys are interested in uh, cables i'll be doing that or else uh, i'll skip that but uh, for for me this is the earphone to get for under 100 dollars this is one of the best dunu has done a fantastic job with tm480 and i felt this is priced fairly lower than what they could have priced people would have been very happy with if it were priced at uh, 120 dollars because it sounds like one of fantastic sounding earphone i'm very very impressed now all these earphones are fantastic none of these earphones are bad by any stretch of imagination this these earphones are very very good if you like bass go for the shozy if you like a bit more balance uh, with very good amount of details and treble go for the dm480 and if you do not have the budget but you still want good amount of clarity and details go for the ybf iss 014 a handful of words and letters in the name and uh, that's it from me if you guys like it give me a thumbs up if you feel you have some questions about this earphones fire in thank you for watching guys have a fantastic day have a fantastic time enjoy your music enjoy